Right, guys, so I've got another six tins of um, of uh, Ancient Battles. So this is going to be um, the second half of my second case. Yeah, I don't know how many of these opening videos might be. I might use them as a bit of a backdrop to, um, to other types of content. So maybe some discussion videos and stuff. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know if you care about opening me opening more of these or if you just want me to kind of graduate from this but um yeah pulls have been pretty awesome so far right now i think the only thing i really ideally want maybe another nadia servant another talent everything else i'm not too bothered i've got pretty much everything i wanted i've pulled four cross outs so far which is absolutely insane so yeah so far i'm, I'm quite happy with everything i've hit um yeah i can't really think of anything else major that like i really need to get but uh yeah let's go and you know what because <laughs> i did it i was meant to do it three than three but uh i'm just gonna open all the packs and put them all here and then go just uh shoot through this this last set of uh ancient battles packs really really quickly guys but yeah let me know in the comments what you think i'm gonna hit for these so we've got a bunch of cards that I don't care about. Another Analyzer, Piercing Darkness, a Chi Chi, another Lulu. Lovely. One more Lulu would be pretty cool though. Just so I have a play set of those secret Lulus. But yeah, let's move on. So, um, cards that I don't care about. <laughs> uh, warning point, lots of vision I don't care about. Another Charade, which is quite cool. Another Gearsu, and another Punishment. Pretty awesome. Yeah, the rares, there are actually one or two rares. I should ha keep an eye out because there's one or two rares that are actually not too bad that I'm interested in, but I do I'll sort, I'll sort throughout that useless bulk later. Right, so another Nadir Servant. So that hits the playset, so I'm super happy with that. Also the Earth Charmer and Sarah Glare, the Crappy Dragon. So I'm like, I can't lie, I don't even respect this enough to put that in my secret pile. I'm not interested. But uh, yeah, so far, I mean, we've 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 hit the pretty much the last thing I need. The talents, I guess. So talents, maybe two more talents would be cool. But everything else has been pretty much hit. But um, yep, move through these. Got another GG, which is cool. Another Shurig and another Fractal. So with that, I think I've actually got all the Fractal cards in this. Um, all Revolt. I think I need one more Revolt. Once I have one more Revolt, I think I have a play set of all the Trivagon cards in this, which is good. The Trivagon races haven't been bad. Like, honestly, if I wanted to build that deck now, it's an option for me, which is pretty cool. But, um, yep, so we've got a Stained Greaves, Hall to Claire, Ariel, another Revolution Dragon. Great to get that play set, and another Nian. Yeah, I don't know how many Nians I got with my last one, but um, it's definitely nice to pick up another one card looks great the virtual world cards really do great in that prismatic secret i think yeah i i would like it if konami just <laughs> respected us a bit more don't don't tell us that virtual world is a poor guy's deck or something by making half the cards common man no let, let us have a bunch of secrets a fully secret virtual world archetype would be quite cool mahama fairy dragon ai contact and raviel this is an absolutely trash pack <laughs> my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh that pack did not have a lot of good in it at all Right, let's move on. So, more cards I don't care about. We've got the Gamma, another Fleur de Lis, which is nice, and another Talents, which is super good. So I've got two Talents now and Shizm, flipping neck. So I've got I've had three Shizm in two cases, and I pulled a second Talents, which is pretty good. And then it's also nice to have another Fleur de Lis. I mean, you only usually play one, but um, it's still nice just to have the option to play more if I want to. But um, yeah, let's move on. So, another area. I've been pulling so many of these aerials. Another Gizmet Kaku, which is quite cool as well. And another Gaia. Yeah. So, I think, am I back? I think I'm back to having my play set of Giz Gizmet Kakus again, which is quite cool. And we've still got a bunch of packs. So, basically, this is like another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, yeah, so ten and then eleven. So, basically, this is another like six five tens i'm doing now so we pull another nerval another albaz we've hit a lot of him and another cross sheep as our secret so yeah definitely doing really well the cross sheeps are cool I, i'll definitely hold on to at least one just so i have that that shiny cross sheep it's always nice to have shiny gods 
but let's move on. G unit, I, this card, I don't know why this is in. This is another card that I don't think should have been in the set. It was just in the OTS. I don't know why they released this, but <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, Titanic had the Ash Dragon is quite cool though. Beast King Barbaros and another Dogmatic Punishment as our secret. Pretty awesome. All right, let's move on. So, let's move past these cards. We've got a Raptite, which is nice, a GG, another Secret Fractal. Oh, the Fractals are really rolling in. All right, next pack. Yeah, I'm doing more C+. And there might be someone in the comment who's, who's offended by the way I'm opening packs. Look, guys, I'm lazy. You just got accepted. So you're watching someone who's quite lazy. Right, Area the Water Charmer, Piercing the Darkness, and another IDP. Oof. I love this card. Every time I see this card, I'm just happy. It's such a good card. And the thing is, I'm usually a bit of a budget player, so having a card like IDP is definitely nice um, to deal with those Dragoons and stuff. Like, it's, it's just a great card. This card counters Dragoon. That's why I like it <laughs> pretty much. This, this is what you use to out Dragoon if you're a budget player now. It's just such a great card. Well, that's, over, that's assuming the price settles low, but it should settle pretty low. I think enough of these cases are going to be open because it's such a good product. I say such a good product, it's probably just one of the better products Konami's released in a while. The IDP should be pretty cheap. But yeah, we've got the Beta, the Wendy, another Zeus, and a Revolt, second Revolt, lovely. Yeah, pulling that that second Zeus is definitely delicious for me. Uh, yeah, so now I actually have a place, because I had one Zeus already. So now I have a place of Zeus. So if I want to play extravagance with my Zeus, <laughs> I guess I could do that now. Other than that, I don't really see a big benefit to it. But um, you know, we've got Dragite, AI Land, and another Shizzle, flipping heck. Really pulling that card, seeing a lot of them. All right, so we've got four packs left, guys. Four packs left. Or is that four, is that five? Yeah, four packs left, guys. So let's hope, hope that I pull something crazy in these last four. So we've got the Lily, Salvation, and Zeta. Zeta is our secret here. Yeah, so nothing too amazing in that one. Nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, three packs, guys. Another TTT. I think another TTT or another cross up would be pretty insane. But I mean, my luck's already been awesome. <laughs> Hitting another Zeus is also pretty crazy. So I've hit four Zeuses in these packs, which is just crazy, and another Orgoides, which is great. Yeah, I know Zeus is not a secret, but I'm keeping it there because it's still going to be a very high value card for these sets. All right, moving on. All right, second to last pack. So we've got Chaos Ruler. This is the first Chaos Ruler I actually pulled. So that's quite surprising, but definitely a nice card to have. Um, I've needed this card for a while, actually. Um, it's just a generic good card for some combo decks. Um, but yeah, definitely nice to hit the Chaos Ruler, Ariel, and then the Ashian. All right, another pretty good pack. Definitely a lot of value in that one. All right, guys, last one, guys, last one, last one. Guys, look, if you haven't subscribed already <laughs> because of all of this cardboard that I'm pulling, <laughs> you're mocking me, man, you're mocking me. You need to subscribe. I'll do this with a little bit of a, a little bit of finesse, yeah? Are we ready, guys, are we ready? All right, AIQ, Torpedo Takedown, Arcjet Lycra. Resonator Command, Deep Sea Sentry, Flourishing Frolic, and let's start with the shiny cards. We've got a Joy Use, we've got a Lingaribo, we've got a Nerval, a Wenby, and Zeta as the secret. Oh, that, that was a bit of an anti-climax. It wasn't as good. We didn't top, we didn't top hitting. <laughs> I even put on my game show voice, but we didn't top hitting that cross out in the last pack, but still a very good set. These are the secrets I hit for those last six tins. So definitely really good. Um, I'm happy with my pool so far. So yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Look, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in the next week or two, but you need to be subscribed to see this giveaway. So, if you aren't subbed already, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when I do it. And I, I'll definitely be sure to let you guys all know so you can join. I'll be giving away loads. I'll probably give away like five, six, ten tens, like tins. Like I've got quite a few more coming. So yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned and keep, keep, um, keep, keep well, stay tuned and uh, keep on watching my videos, man. Keep on watching my videos and get me that YouTube money, innit? <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Later on, peace.